I have uh, worked various um, uh, as a teacher, but um, I worked uh, in the engineering uh, field as well for the better half of my life. Brought up by a farmer, I got educated through chickens and here I am today, I'm still uh, doing chickens. I, I love it. We started this project uh, during the COVID break where we were staying home. So we decided to embark on some project which could be run at home. We wanted something that will be able to sustain our needs and demands with our children in school and in universities. Here we are carrying out a trial uh, where we are using three breeds of chickens. We are looking at the feeding habits of these three breeds. We have two treatments by three breeds. We have one treatment, the intensive treatment, where we are feeding our chickens a commercial feed plus lucerne. Lucerne is a high protein content uh, feed. In the extensive uh, treatment, our chickens are feeding on the range, on the natural field, which are, which are just the grasses. Basically what we do in this lab is we evaluate the nutritional composition of different feedstuffs for livestock. We normally provide these services to farmers, students, agricultural students, private companies. Topos Research Institute, we normally have um, trainings where we train uh, our farmers, our smallholder farmers on chicken production and feed formulation. So uh, even if the project ends, uh, the trials, uh, the trainings uh, of the farmers, they still continue. When you improve your feed, uh, then you are improving productivity of your chickens. That is the, the message that you are taking to the farmers. It's called a rocket stove. It's uh, uh, installed in a brooder. I did myself, like uh, putting up the, the solar panel, um, uh, doing the wiring for the fence. It uses firewood. Um, you burn the firewood to produce heat, and uh, that heat is what is required to keep uh, chickens, chicks warm. The green technology aspects uh, comes with uh, reducing the amount of firewood that one would use um, to produce a batch. Normally when they use a conventional stove, they burn about uh, seven tons of firewood. But uh, with this type of stove, we burn one to 1.5 tons. So there's a lot of conservation in terms of um, the amount of firewood that you would burn. You know, I think it is that to think that I'm thinking of that sick. I go to a master's in the middle. In the middle, there is a little bit of 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 a
se beti yokutanga yakabva makenje zvayo We are benefiting a lot from the WhatsApp group that was created by the Golden Poultry Association where there are agricultural specialists in terms of the rearing of the chicken and other lay people like us who are not trained in agriculture. We are benefiting so much from the advices that we get, quick response in when you get post in questions into that. We'll put it in figures so that it yes. is clear. When we bought the first batch, we bought them at $9.50 a bed. But when we were introduced to the Golden Poultry Association, they sold these beds to us for $6.20. That's a fortune. $3.37. It's quite significant for us as the consumers. Today here we are witnessing some feed formulation training here. Farmers from neighboring farms were here to also learn so that we can make food feed for our port. We are comparing our feed, my straight feeds, straight feeds bought from the shop and feed on farm formulation. We have seen that it's very cheap if we do, if we produce our own feed by growing our own, our own raw materials for feed. We create employment for, for our local farmers. I'm a few farms. I'm a few farms. I'm a few farms.